This is really a piece of communications that we created to try to excite people about an idea. The Nike Foundation has been doing this work for about seven years. And every time I talked to someone, I had to give them a pretty good explanation of what it meant how a girl is uniquely able to break the intergenerational cycle of poverty. Because if she can get on the right trajectory, she's the mother of every child that will be born into poverty. And we can get her in the right direction, good things happen. Positive spiral. Wrong direction, negative spiral. Well, it takes a while to explain that, right? So we knew we needed a concept that was really simple. If a clock is ticking, it sort of grabs your attention. It's positive. Starts off in a little bit dark, but then it takes you to a positive place really, really fast. And then it's real person. It's not like hearing about poverty in the developing world. It's about this 12-year-old girl. And then finally, you really walk a journey with her, and you get, in, you get invested about whether she's going to make it or not. We actually created it for a specific event where we were trying to inspire policymakers who make huge decisions about big flows of money and making sure that those are going to adolescent girls in poverty. And then people have done crazy, amazing things with it, things we never had in any kind of plan or strategy. People forming girl effect clubs in high schools and colleges and universities, uh, middle schools, people having fundraisers and concerts and art, dis art um, shows and selling and birthday parties and instead of bringing me a present, give money to the girl effect. We didn't have any of that in the plan. That wasn't like part of the strategy. It's all spontaneously combusted out of this very simple video that people shared with their friends. There's no, there's no no uh, proprietary kind of control that, that's being levied on it. So you can just use it in whatever way. And I think that's what's led to it really catching on and just growing virally because it taps into people's individual creativity and people's individual way of expressing it themselves. One of my favorite things that has happened with this is when people send it to me, who I know, either friends or family or just some random person, they say, oh, Maria, you have got to see this. This is fantastic. You're going to be so excited. And I, I click on it and it's, the clock is ticking. And that's just like the classic viral thing that it, it loops back to me many times over and to our team. We're always laughing or finding a great story about how it was shown in a way we never expected or how someone was told about this great thing that they should see. When someone really gets an ad right in such a short amount of time, they tell a story that moves you deeply. And I think that what's happening right now is really exciting is it's going beyond that kind of simple equation of add to buy something, it's really becoming more and more about a, a social experience or a, a way you perceive the world or the way you behave or what you believe. And I think that's really exciting. I think it makes it a much more interesting um, profession.